Hey guys, so today is going to be such a fun day uh, because I get to take Brecklin and her dad, Nate, um, to a Rockies game. <laughs> What's up vlog? It is a travel day, headed to Denver from Arizona, packed up all my stuff, headed to Denver for opening day. Happy start of the 2021 baseball season. Welcome to Denver. Okay guys, just got to my hotel in Denver. I love this city and Coors, I gotta see Coors, which is so cool. I haven't been to that ballpark yet. So I'm really excited. It's like 6.30, so the sun sets in an hour. I'm gonna try to walk around a little and explore. Love exploring new cities, usually do it by running, probably go walk, try to find some food, do a few phone calls that I have to make. Tomorrow is opening day, let's go. I'm so excited. Just got back to the hotel. I got to walk around a little, it's freezing here. Going to order some dinner and uh, probably just have a chill night, do some work and go to sleep. So excited for baseball. You have no idea. Well, I'm sure a lot of you guys do. I am meeting up right now with Sarah. She is actually from Denver. So uh, we're gonna head to the game. I think we're gonna get lunch first, coffee for me, and then head to the game. And we've got a suite there, so it should be fun. But I have a really special uh, day tomorrow with a young little girl and her dad, and she's a big uh, baseball fan, a momentum fan. She watches all the vlogs and the YouTube stuff, and she's a gymnast. So anyways, uh, she reached out to me on Twitter uh, a couple months ago in the off season. So I'm gonna take her to a game, her and her dad, and Bowers pitching. So anyways, happy opening day. I'm excited for today. It's been way too long since I've been to a baseball game. Wait, say hi, Sarah. Hey, oh, we're back on. Yeah, you're back on the wall. walking back to my hotel and it's like nine at night right now and it's actually kind of warm like Rachel Luba is saying it's kind of warm so it's not bad but had an awesome day Colorado is sick and the coolest part or like the funniest part the I saw so many Cardinals shirts and I was like why is it we're not even like I'm used to seeing that in the central but I was so confused and then I saw all the backs of her Arenado shirts. I was like, what a troll move. So awesome, awesome first day, opening day. Not a great game for the Dodgers, but it's okay. Tomorrow, an exciting day, Bauer starts. Oh yeah, so I've also had a, like, a lot of nice people come up to me and people yell at me like, hey, thanks for Bauer at the game. Um, but I walked past one person, looked at me, was like, oh, it's that Luba bitch right in my face. So, just kind of smile, I'm like, oh, you're that mad. You must really care about me. Living rent free in your head, buddy. So right now, got back to the hotel and I'm reviewing um, a contract from Mexico um, because Yasiel right now um, is probably gonna go play 
for a bit while waiting for you know, stuff to open up in MLB uh, and opportunities for him. You know, it's important that he keeps playing, so he's probably going to go down to Mexico. Um, but I'm reviewing the contract for down there, and it's just quite different than how we do contracts here in, in America. So it's interesting to see. And I talked to Lisette about some of the stuff, and some of it's in Spanish as well. And uh, I think just the lawyer from America in me is looking at this and... I'm like, we, we got to rewrite some of this. Like, we can't just have bullet points and things like that. Just, it's a different world. Um, but Mexico, I know, was very excited to have, to have Yasiel. And, you know, Yasiel has just been training, staying in shape. And he's just wants to, you know, stay playing. So uh, that's what he's going to do. He knows how to how to fight for for baseball and for his career and um it's not the first time he's had to do it you know coming over from cuba even just to get here he had to get trafficked human traffic to get here so um he knows he knows uh sometimes it's a roller coaster but he's he hasn't given up and i commend him for that Hey guys, so today is going to be such a fun day uh, because I get to take Brecklin and her dad, Nate, um, to a Rockies game. So uh, for those of you who follow me on Twitter, you might have seen in like mid-January, um, Nate had uh, tweeted at me and told me that his daughter, I think she's six, Brecklin, um, she is a gymnast and she's also a huge baseball fan, like her dad. And um, she's a big fan of Momentum. She watches all the vlogs. So I guess she's a big uh, fan of, of me and wants to be like me when she grows up. So he sent me a picture of her practicing gymnastics in her basement with some uneven bars that he built her. And she had a cool little motivational quote on her easel that she wrote. Um, and anyways, just super cute. So I had sent her a Luva Sports shirt and a little video message. Um, but since I'm in Colorado, in Denver, and they're from not far from here, and they're big Rockies fans, I decided it would be fun to take her and her dad to a baseball game with me. So they will be coming with me. I can't wait for you guys to get to meet them too. They're awesome and I'm very excited. However, I've spent the majority of the day, this is a night game today. Opening day yesterday was a day game. So tonight it's like a 6.50 start or something. Um, Bowers first start as a Dodger. And I've spent the majority of this morning while well, I went for a run, got to explore Denver. I love this city, I think it's awesome. Um, explore Denver a bit and then have been on calls um, most of the morning, uh, working on also Yasiel's contract with a Mexico team that he'll be playing uh, for in the meantime until um, another opportunity opens up. So I was rewriting that contract a bit because it's the language and the formality is just very different than in the United States. So. That took a lot of work from there, just uh, dealing with, well, I guess there's the drama of MLB getting rid of um, the All-Star Game in Atlanta. There's that. I frequently, by the way, a lot of people are like, you know, aren't you supposed to be working instead of going to baseball games and stuff? So <laughs> first of all, um, yeah, I, uh, I hate people who say that. So a lot of my job is done on the phone and texting and calling and then emails, which I can do from my phone. So I actually, when I go to baseball games as well, I don't, like a majority of the time I'm by myself and I'm doing work on my phone. So I frequently have to step out, take calls. That's kind of what, what a baseball game looks like uh, for me. So for everybody out there who is like, thinks that when I go to baseball games, it's like how normal fans do and, you know, the drinking and having a great time. I mean, I enjoy games, but I can assure you that my experience at a game is probably very different than 99% of fans. 
So uh, yeah, just wanted to, I guess, clear the air there for some of you.